You say, okay, Pastor Anderson, you've at least convinced me that the birth control pills are wrong because they are taking a life. I mean, how can you be against the morning after pill and not against normal birth control pills when the morning after pill is just a high-dosed birth control pill? That's all it is. The morning after pill contains the same hormones at a higher dose that will just quickly change the lining of the uterus to make it a hostile environment for the child. That's why it works. But you say, well, Pastor Anderson, okay, I'm convinced that, uh, you know, birth control pills are the wrong way to go. They're abort efficient. But what about other birth control methods? I mean, come on. Are you telling me that birth control is just wrong and that there's no acceptable birth control method? In a word, yes. But let's just go through the methods quickly. And I, I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to get into any detail or be graphic or anything. But there are a few different types of methods. Go to Genesis chapter 38, if you would. Genesis chapter 38. Because Genesis 38 is the only mention of birth control in the entire Bible. And if someone else has another mention of birth control, see me after the service because I'd like to see it. To my knowledge, and I'm not perfect, I don't know everything, and maybe somebody's going to show me after the service where I'm wrong. To my knowledge, Genesis 38 is the only instance of birth control in the entire Bible from Genesis Revelation. And again, I'm open to being corrected on that. But in Genesis 38, we see a man using birth control. And guess what? His wife was not on the pill. They didn't have the pill back then. He did not give his wife a pill and say, hey, you need to take this at the same time every day and you need to go see the doctor to get your prescription filled. No, Onan used a more primitive type of birth control method. It says in verse 8, And Judah said unto Onan, Go in unto thy brother's wife and marry her and raise up seed to thy brother. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his. And it came to pass when he went in unto his brother's wife that he spilled it on the ground lest that he should give seed to his brother. And the thing which he did was considered to be responsible. Is that what it says? No. It says the thing which he did displeased the Lord, wherefore he slew him also. Now, God did not just frequently in the Bible just kill people, where he personally killed somebody. But this is a guy that God actually personally killed. And why did he kill him? For spilling it on the ground. He went in unto his wife to raise up seed unto his brother. He knew that the seed should not be his, and so he decided to spill it on the ground. God got angry and killed him. Not a very good advertisement for birth control right here in Genesis 38. It's not looking good. And, and especially when you realize this is the only mention of birth. You say, oh, oh, Pastor Anderson, you poor ignorant fool. Don't you realize that the reason why God was mad at Onan was the reason why he spilled it on the ground? Why? What was wrong with his reason? Because you know what? There was nothing wrong in those days with not raising up seed unto your brother because you were allowed to do it. You just, the girl would slap you in the face and, and so forth. Remember that whole ritual? You know, she'll slap you in the face and loose the shoe and do all that and, you know, spit on you or whatever. But, it, you know, you don't have to do it. God did provide allowance that, hey, if you don't want to take your brother's wife and raise up seed unto your brother, you don't have to. Why is God so mad at this guy? Because he goes in unto her and then spills it on the ground. Okay. Now, you say, well, it's because he did it for a selfish reason. Yeah, but everybody who uses birth control is doing it for a selfish reason. Yeah. Yeah. Name for me a birth control motivation that's not selfish. Yeah. More money, less work, easier life. These are the type of, well, it's my carbon footprint. Oh, okay, whatever. You're so unselfish. <laughs> but you can sit there and say that all you want, but this is the only example God gave. And it's a negative example of birth control when Onan spilled it on the ground. 